Does anybody remember me being very concerned about Central Vac? Well, it's two days before Christmas. We're trying to get every the house all cleaned and ready to go. So we're ready with all kinds of company and stuff. And the vacuum doesn't suck. So it kind of sucks. You know what I mean? Just kidding. Those are bad words. I shouldn't say that. The vacuum isn't working properly. So anyway, I'm like stressing out. It's not working very well. So I'm assuming the kids have vacuumed up something they shouldn't have. So James here. Say hi, James. Hi. He told me he found the problem. He said he found the problem. He came up to this outlet, which is right outside the little boys' room. What's that? Oh, oh we'll, we'll show him why we use that in just a minute. And he told me that he picked up a whole bunch. He got this out of the little hole. Let me show you the hole. Okay, I'll do it. Okay, stop. So here's where you open the wall and the vacuum hose inserts in here and it plugs in right there. It's just one thing and it latches in, right? And then James said that he had pulled out that wad of lint, this wad of lint right here. Yep, that wad of lint and hair and stuff. I move it. Hold on. But then there was, he said there was a tire stuck in there too and he needed pliers. Okay, you hold that open for me, okay, Johnny? Bye. So this tire from a toy was like, I'm gonna get it wedged in there again, was perfectly sucked all the way back into there and you could barely see it. I don't know how he knew it was a tire. He has better eyes than I do. No, we're not gonna stick it back in. You're not gonna show me. <laughs> and I, yeah, I had to use these. Yeah, I had to use these needle nose jewelry pliers and reach in there. And you can see it took me several good. You can see that I sort of Ow. destroyed. You poked me. I poked him a little bit. Sorry, guys. I had to pull on it and twist a little bit. And it, I finally got the tire out. But now, now comes the real test. Now, 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 now we're all. Oh. Now comes the real test. Is the vacuum going to function properly? No. Oh, you're choking me, Johnny. Ow. Let's go downstairs and find out. So I just wanted to use the hose of the vacuum to vacuum along the edge of the carpet in here. And it wasn't, it wasn't doing it. So now we're gonna see if it will. What, Sammy? Sammy needs me. Hold on, Sammy, let me. What do you need? You need something from the freezer? What do you want? Waffles? But you already had lunch and breakfast. No. Yes, you did. No. You didn't? You need waffles? No. You need waffles? No. Why? No. Why? Tell me when it's plugged in, James. It's plugged in. Plugged in. And here you go. Okay. I don't want that part. So yeah, this is still, we're still not getting the suction we should be getting, you guys. See, this is the real test. I couldn't get it to suck up this. Yeah, it's not. That wasn't the cause of our lack of suction. Oh, I have another idea. Okay, we did some more troubleshooting and I got on the internet and it told me to do this thing called pressure buildup. Yeah, watch and here, John, Isaac, here, hold the camera for mommy. Hold it steady. Hold it right. Oh, not there. There you go. This is how you do pressure buildup. Okay, you turn on the vacuum. And you just keep doing this to try to make it suck and everything down. Okay, thanks for the great camera angle, dude. Well, we looked in here and we did see something. I could see something in there, but when I reached in and felt it, it felt like a piece of metal. And I thought maybe it belonged in there because it felt really hard and it was really close to where the connection happens. And so I thought it belonged there. So I ignored it. And then when Isaac looked in there, he said, mom, there's something in there. And I was like, yeah, but it's part of the vacuum. But then I really kind of questioned myself because it didn't, I didn't think there should be anything in there. So we got the pliers. Oh, we got do you want, do you want to see what we pulled out? Yeah. This plastic tube was literally inside and here. And me want to show you what the fuck Yeah. Oh, it's definitely going to give me a hickey on my hand now. So, we're crediting Isaac 
not mom, Isaac. Right, Isaac? Oh, don't, don't put your, that's kind of gross, boys. So now I'm pretty sure it's gonna work properly. Okay, let's go check it out. Is it gonna, is it gonna go? If it will suck the Q-tip up, then I think we fixed the vacuum. Should we go check? Yeah. Let's go check. Do you see the Q-tip? Yeah. Okay, turn it on. Why do we need that? Will it suck the Q-tip up? Yes! Oh, we fixed the vacuum. Why do we need Q-tip? My heroes. No, no, get out of, don't touch stuff. This isn't the room you get to touch stuff in. Okay, thanks for helping me, Isaac. I felt like I needed to make it clear that plastic tube was closed on one end and opened on the other. So the end that was at the very back, it was completely closed. So it was blocking airflow. It really was. It wasn't just a tube. It was a closed end tube. Does that make sense? So anyway, my little boys figured it out for me. They're becoming troubleshooters. Don't underestimate the power of a child.